there are different types of project uh, which is uh, related to infrastructure or starting or expansion of your business okay promotion for sustainable agriculture you need to sustain your agriculture product which is very very important for any nation the infrastructure finance because uh, small scale industry infrastructure development like a road transportation which is very near to the market uh, easily they can carry materials everyone a warm welcome to one and all i am natesh lecturer in commerce vidyashram first grade college mysore the temple of excellence we are in the unit 4 session 2 fifth semester financial institution and marketing bcom subject the chapter name is banking and development financial institution and today my agenda you are getting more clarity what are the major role in the exim bank huh? and the functions of exim bank role of nabard and functions of nabard role of sidb and uh, functions of sidb role of mudra and functions of mudra uh, moving forward one by one so the first one the role of uh, uh, exim bank which is exim means we are try to go for like understanding export and import so which is majorly focusing for the finance support uh, which is uh, those who are doing for the export and import activity so the first one is uh, export financing when any businessman if they are involved in the export activity when they are sending a material for any other country or goods or equipment so definitely they need a finance support so which is nothing but the export financing and import finance when any country or any private people or any businessman when they are getting a machinery or raw material or different components okay so while they are importing so definitely they need finance uh, which is also one major role here import financing and the risk mitigation so risk mitigation any activity without risk we cannot carry so uh, easily with the help of exim bank uh, that you can go for managing the risk next one the promotion of export if you have an abundant source uh, we try to go for export for any other country okay so when you are exporting obviously there is a different currency we are getting the income source uh, generating so as a exim bank they want to promote the uh, export and next one project financing Uh, there are different types of project uh, which is uh, related to infrastructure or starting or expansion of your business okay so you need to next one development of infrastructure okay so exim bank which is part of a development infrastructure like a road a bridge uh, okay so which is necessary for uh, any country any city the policy advocacy policy advocacy means actually whenever the exim bank when they are raising a fund okay definitely there is a uh, policy which is related to rise policy or lending a uh, money to the needy people uh, the currency exchange facility because while you are doing import and export uh, which is coming under the international trade uh, so the currency you need to exchange with the help of exim bank uh. next one the trade facilitation because you have any platform if you are planning to go for export or getting import from other country so something like uh, trade facilitations will be uh, provided by the exim bank moving forward the functions of exim bank so the major functions here the first one export credit financing so the role what you study the same thing the point is repeating here so the export uh, credit facility if you are exporting anything which is related to agriculture or uh, spare parts components or equipment what you have an abundant source okay and next one credit insurance a uh, credit insurance while you are getting a credit facility something like uh, if it is accident uh, in case of death uh, you need to get a insurance for just for avoiding the future losses okay next one guarantee and working capital support Uh, which is giving a guarantee for example you are getting a, a machinery from the japan so with the help of exim bank we can give guarantee for japan company okay so like this the guarantee is very important and working capital to run your business very smooth way next one project financing so there are different types of project uh, which is uh, related to very very essential for any nation okay so the project uh, may be your infrastructure or construction of building for the business okay next one market research and information market research okay again and again you need to find out the what changes we, uh, trends we are finding what changes in the market uh, using a uh, market research and uh, information we are gathering next one the trade promotion we are promoting the trade like import uh, export uh, okay or international trade we are promoting next one foreign investment facility 
foreign investment we can invest for any private company or public company or uh, share uh, which is security related or you can invest for the fii uh, next one policy advocacy definitely there is a policy which is repeated and uh, risk management uh, obviously there is a risk is connected for the rising a fund or getting a fund or borrowing a fund or lending fund next one the role of nabard nabard uh, which is a national agriculture bank uh, for rural development which is only focusing for the rural development uh. so here the nabard uh, which is focusing for how to promote the agriculture activity okay next uh, which is uh, the role is the financial support to agriculture and rural development because the rural we cannot uh, neglect for the rural uh, the most of the farmers are uh, cultivating because of getting a support from the nabard uh, next one refinancing agriculture and credit uh, institution uh, the agriculture means not only for the uh, seeds or land development or agriculture conversions land okay so there are different uh, uh, activity uh, the farmers want to purchase machinery or uh, truck uh, tractor promotion for rural infrastructure because of uh, the promotion uh, infrastructure which is related to road transportation uh, okay water supply this is coming under rural credit institution which is focusing a rural credit institution for the farmers okay for overall development for rural next one microfinance and self uh, help group microfinance and self help uh, help group means which is a small finance support is given to the uh, those who are keen interested to start their own business okay so under uh, self help group because uh, finance is very important for them also to start a business promotion for sustainable agriculture you need to sustain your agriculture product which is very very important for any nation uh, next one research and development uh, now the nabard are getting a uh, research uh, they are try to search again and again what developments can for uh, introduce uh, what methods uh, are in the cultivation okay and development there is lot of development we can implement the risk management and insurance very very important coming under the part of nabard next one the functions of nabard one is credit function under credit function we can majorly find out here yeah, refinancing facility okay and uh, next one direct lending lending to the farmers or rural development and uh, next one the microfinance which is uh, related to self help group uh, small finance support is given okay and the development functions which is developing a infrastructure uh, rural infrastructure development, uh, next uh, watershed development because the farmers how they want to cultivate uh, because the water source is very important, infrastructure connected. Next one, farm sector uh, development which is re related to uh, farm, okay. Next one, supervisory function. So, NABAD is acting like a supervisor here. Uh, the regulation of uh, RRB, rural development, uh, rural regional rural bank and cooperative bank so which is a regulation set by the rbi nabard and the inspection and monitoring is very important because the financing is very easy after monitoring only we can find out the performance uh, moving to the functions of nabard next one the promotional functions under promotional functions uh, research and development is very important and training and ca uh, capacity building uh, training is uh, provided for the farmers uh, okay next one institution building uh, like promotion for self help group uh, which is a finance uh, related concept the support to farmer producer organization next one financial inclusions what exactly is going in the uh, promotion of financial inclusion and technology adaption the farmers there are uh, too many latest uh, because of rapid techno increasing the te technology so they want to in incorporate in the field of uh, farming role of sidb okay so which is actually uh, a financial assistant uh, uh, which is small industry development bank of industry okay so which is the refinancing and uh, rediscounting facility the role uh, the promotion of entrepreneur new new entrepreneur they are promoting uh, next one the development of small scale industry the venture capital and the risk capital okay so definitely which is assisting the small industry development uh, so which is called for microfinance so we, we cannot call it as a macro finance we are just focusing for the small scale industry and the institutional development which is uh, finance providing means obviously which is coming under the institution development and the finance uh, policy advocacy we are setting a policy for raising a fund or providing a fund okay next one the technology and the skill upgradation there are too many programs and training is conducted by the SIDB for the small scale industry or new entrepreneur and the expert promotion uh, you can export whatever the spare parts uh, you are producing or manufacturing under the small scale industry 
industry you can export uh, with the help of SIDB. Uh, now the functions of SIDB, the first one financial assistance, financial assistance for the small scale industry people, okay, why they are purchasing or working capital support. Uh, refinancing activities, so they are refinancing for activity like uh, industry, small scale industry, promotion for micro and small medium enterprise, okay. Uh, next one, development of entrepreneur skill, they are uh, providing a lot of programs or conducting a program or training is given for the technology, latest machinery, okay. Uh, the uh, credit guarantee, definitely we are giving as a SIDB is giving a credit uh, guarantee. Venture capital assistance, so uh, which is the latest instruments available in the uh, finance market. The infrastructure finance, because uh, small scale industry infrastructure development like a road transportation, which is very near to the market, uh, easily they can carry materials. International corporation, we are dealing with the international corporation. Next one, the promotion of sustainability practice. We need to uh, promote this sustainability practice for the long period. And next one, the technology upgradation. So, uh, SIDB is providing a lot of idea about the new latest technology, whatever it is available for the small scale industry. Uh, next one, marketing assistance. So, the SIDB is whatever the small scale industry people they produce. So, they try to go for marketing with the help of SIDB. Monitoring and evaluation. Monitoring and evaluation is required for a continuous basis. Next one, the role of mudra, role of mudra, which is uh, financial in inclusions here. Uh, next one, the targeted support, uh, we are giving to target support here. Uh, there are different uh, schemes are available under the mudra. Uh, funding support uh, and uh, loan product, uh, loan product, there are different types of uh, loan uh, products are available like uh, which is related to the supporting of, uh, okay. Uh, refinancing role, uh, again they are refinancing. Next one, job creation. Okay, with the help of Mudra, there are too many job creations will be happening. Okay, themselves they can start their own. Uh, entrepreneurial development because uh, everybody are coming friend to start uh, any business or industry or small scale industry. Empowering a uh, woman and uh, minority uh, because you, we need to encourage uh, women and uh, minorities. Government initiative, which is uh, taken by the government initiative. Monitoring and evaluation is compulsory for Mudra also. Next one, under functions of mudra, first one, the financial support, uh, which is given completely finance support for needy people like to start up, okay, and the refinancing, promotion of a uh, micro entrepreneurship, uh, which is a small investment, uh, okay. Uh, next one, financial inclusions here, uh, awareness and capacity building is very essential for uh, mudra. And uh, next one, policy also, which is framed by the mudra related to rising or giving a credit facility. And the technology integration, so we are trying to go for integrating the technology, latest technology. Monitoring and evaluation is uh, uh, compulsory for Mudra. And uh, customized finance product, which is completely customized product, which is uh, related to the business activity. Uh, now, next one, collaborations with the stakeholders like uh, private uh, government uh, okay, or uh, NGO. Keep on watch for next section. Thank you.